Dear students, welcome to my channel. In our data structure and algorithm tutorial series, today we will discuss stack. Okay, so as you know, stack is a linear data structure. Okay, so myself Niladji Shekhar Pal, I am working as an assistant professor at Computer Science and Engineering Department, Greater Kolkata College of Engineering and Science. So, what is stack? A stack is basically a linear data structure. Okay, in which data items are inserted and deleted at one end only. Rather than in the middle called as okay, and where from where it has been inserted or deleted is called the top of the stack. So all uh, stack is a basically a linear data structure. Okay, and the elements inserted and deleted from top of the stack. Okay. Next stack basically follows LIFO that is last in first out. Okay, or filo that is first in first out. That means the element which have entered last will be deleted first okay suppose you uh, you can uh, in, you can take a box of the um, cambis ball okay from where you the last ball we have entered okay that ball will be deleted first okay so stack is basically a restricted data structure data structure that means we cannot insert or delete the elements of in stack from anywhere. We can insert or delete the elements of the data structure from one end. That is why stack is called a restricted data structure. Okay. Suppose this is a stack. You can see that three elements are there. Insert. If we want to insert another element, we will insert at the top of the stack. And if we want to delete some element, then we will delete it from the top of the stack okay and this element is it is the topmost element of the stack okay next come what are the operation that we perform over stack first one is push push means to add some item into the stack that is add an item in the stack if the stack is full then it is said to be an overflow condition so if the stack is full if, if we cannot able to insert any element in the stack then it is called the overflow condition basically every stack has a limit okay limit means every stack has a limitation of inserting the element suppose there is a stack of that stack which can insert five elements or can store five elements so we can only insert five elements okay not more than that the next is pop pop means deleting an element from the stack basically it removes an item from the stack the items are basically proposed in the reversed order okay which they are pushed if the stack is empty then it is said to be an <coughs> underflow condition okay so the last element which has pushed into the stack that will be first pop okay and if all the elements are in the stack are empty that means there are no element in the stack then there is no way to pop any element that is called the underflow condition I am repeating one second. If there are no element in the stack, that is the top of the stack is at minus one position. Okay. That means there are no element in the stack. Then there is an underflow condition. We cannot pop any element. Next top. It basically returns the top elements of the stack. That means that is the uppermost element of the stack. Next is empty. Is empty is operation is used to check whether the stack is empty or not empty okay so next we will do the push and pop operation over stack okay now i am just giving an example okay by which we can push and pop all the elements of the stack suppose this is an empty stack okay this is an empty stack as you can see that there are these are the 0 1 2 3 4 these are the index value of the stack the stack can store five values 1 2 3 4 5 therefore the size of the stack is 5 and this is the empty stack okay so you can check now i want to store push okay i want to push 10 okay so what will happen the element will store at 0th position okay so this is the top of the stack is now at 0th position so top of the stack is now at 0th position next we will insert 20 so you can see that 20 is pushed over 10 okay next we have pushed 30 30 is pushed inserted over 20 next 40 is pushed and 40 is placed above 30 next we push 50 okay it is 
root over 40 okay so stack is full now as you know the stack can able to store five elements and we have already inserted five elements so stack is full or it may say that this is the overflow condition we cannot insert any elements into the stack okay next we will do the pop operation so in during the pop operation the topmost element will be deleted so you can see that if 50 is deleted there will be no 50 okay so now the topmost element is 40 next i am del again pop the element okay so for now 40 will be deleted so there is no 40 here next we have the top of the element is at 30 so we will delete 30 okay so next the top of the element is 10 so we will delete 10 okay the stack is now empty now we cannot do the pop operation right now okay so this is called the underflow condition okay so i'm repeating once again so basically stack is a linear data structure in which data items are inserted and deleted at one end only rather than in the middle or okay so this is called the top of the stack stack basically follows lipo that is last in first out or first in last out stack is restricted data structure that means we cannot insert or delete from anywhere from the stack this is the stack we can insert and delete okay and this is the top of the stack now what are the operations we can we perform over stack first one is push this is used for to add item okay onto the stack next pop pop is basically used to remove the element from the stack next stop means top of the element of the stack is empty operation is used to check whether the stack is empty or not next i am just doing an example this is a stack the size of the stack is 5 this is the, the index value 0 1 2 3 4 this is there is no element right now that is why it's the empty stack next we will push 10 we inserted 10 next we push 20 20 is pushed over 10 next we push 30 it is placed over 20 next we push 40 it is placed over 30 next 50 and it is pushed over 40 so as you can see that the stack is full now okay we cannot insert any elements again okay so this condition is called the overflow condition now we will do pop operation as you know that pop operation will perform on top of the stack so top of the stack is now 50 so 50 will be deleted next top of the element is 40 so 40 will be deleted next top of the stack is 30 30 will be deleted next top of the stack is 10 if we perform pop the 10 will be deleted so stack is empty now we cannot pop any items from right now okay this condition is called underflow condition okay so this is all about stack student in our next class we will do the push and pass of functions okay so i am requesting you to subscribe my channel there is a bell icon on your right hand side of the screen you can click on that and subscribe my channel or you can visit www.facebook.com slash digital classroom niladripa to subscribe to like my page okay you will get all the notifications from there also if you have any doubt any clarification you can mail me at my email id okay this is my email id niladripl86 at the red gmail.com or you can call me in my mobile number so thank you student see you in the next